Nikki. Mm -hmm. It's 5 a.m. You ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go see some sea cows. Moo moo. <laughs> yes, what you're witnessing right now is a very rare scene. We don't typically rise before the sun, and if we do, it's for something big. And today, it's manatees. It's not entirely necessary to start this early, but our friends who are joining us for today's adventure insisted the earlier, the better. Nobody wants to see that this early in the morning. <laughs> we're not big on group tours, but when we're venturing into something new, like swimming with an endangered species, we like to know the do's and don'ts may be found moving while resting, and it is your responsibility not to disturb them. I saw a little cute little nose come up and get the mayor there. There's another one. I don't think I've ever been in the water before the sun has been fully up. So, it's gonna be chilly. I'm not going first. Grab this thing. That doesn't look awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. We're going to come back down. We're on whisper mode. Whisper mode. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to be in whisper mode. Wait a minute. I'll do this. I've got to watch you. I'm going to have to go. Whisper mode. Whisper mode. Whisper mode. water is cold, my energy and excitement levels are through the roof, and right now, all I've got is a few sleeping manatees. Sure, they bob to the surface every 15 minutes or so for a breath, but I wouldn't call this exciting. Maybe it's a little too early for them, too. Or maybe it's that they spend approximately 50% of the day sleeping. Either way, they're pretty stinking cute. Right now, I can't think of another half-ton mammal I'd want to be this close to. Luckily, they don't seem to mind being surrounded by all of us. Even the ones that don't know how to follow the let the manatee come to you rule. Like that person who is not with our group. These sea cows are much like the typical RV population. They're snowbirds and can't survive in temps below 60 degrees, which explains why they like the warm springs of Florida. This is our friend Brandon. He's the one that convinced us to get up early for all this, which at this point we're wondering if it was really all worth it. And then it happened. A mama and a calf turned and headed straight for us. It's like they knew we needed the interaction and wanted to let us know they were glad we ventured out to see them. It's that one small connection that turned our trip from ho-hum to awesome. Where are we? Crystal River. Crystal River. Sorry about the lack of introduction earlier. It was really early in the morning. Super early in the morning. Friends uh, told us to come out at the early one, which is six, because you get better 
uh, more I'm, manatees. I'm, why were we here why? at 6 a.m.? <laughs> they, they they set it up. I don't know. We just followed them. You know. We're here because if you get here before six, you can beat the crowds and you avoid the kayakers. And the manatees are still sleepy and they haven't been scared off by everybody. And I felt like even in the in the beginning it was more clear, and by the end it was a little more uh, murky for people kicking around. So yeah, even the, them absolutely. kicking around, also the manatees the kick it up. Yeah. They move up and, down. and some more boats showed up. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, Fifty five dollars a person plus a tip. Yeah. It was expensive, but. Not, not crazy. Not, not bad. And you actually learn all of the proper etiquette for swimming with the manatee. Anything else you want to say? I had two manatees smush into my lens, so hopefully there's some good video. Yeah. High five, guys. Yay! Yay! Nikki's not a part of that. No. <laughs> that wasn't my idea. I'm like, where? Yay! <laughs> See ya on the road. Bye. Bye.